time to check the chickens. Hey, Corella. Hello, ladies. And the imposter. Where are the babies? Oh, there they are. Aren't they cute? I need to clean up out here. We got all kind of watermelon, cantaloupe, <laughs> rinds all over the place. She's always complaining. Always complaining. Excuse me, girl. They're not scared of me. They don't run from me. They let me pick them up, except for those two jokers over there. They don't trust me at all. That's that's a. I'm gonna call them ebony and ivory. As ebony, there's ivory. I don't have a number name for the raptor yet. They're pretty friendly to me, though. Not to each other. And inside, guess what I have? Three more chicks that I hatched. And these are not the one I hatched the other day. I only got four the other day. One passed away. Let me see if I have any eggs. I found a way to keep the bugs out of the hook coop. And this is it. Zest. Flies hate it and apparently everything else does. Except the chickens. So, I got one egg. Krell is not laying anymore. At least I don't think she is. I mean, not where I can find it. This is from Dum Dum. And there's the new babies. <laughs> I think they're all Corella's chicks. Yeah. One looks just like her again, the black one. Then the other ones are white and black spots. Hopefully they're all girls. They look like they are. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And there's the rest of the gang. And there are the babies. I'm so glad I started hatching my own chicks. I would have only had five chickens. Well, four hens and one rooster. And he's quiet. Thank you, Jesus. He hasn't made any noise and he's so pretty. There he is right there. Isn't he pretty? I think he's beautiful. Cruella is not laying, but she's doing better than she was. I had to give her an enema. I took some olive oil and a uh, drop. And, you know, I put it where the sun don't shine. Because she was backed up. She couldn't go to the bathroom. So she pooped. And now she's walking around, but she is still not laying. So and that's okay as long as she's not sick like she was. Because she was, I mean, I touch her and she was burning up. They say not to do that, but shoot, she needed, she needed some help. She could not go to the bathroom. Hey, chicky, 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 chicky. I gotta come in and clean, okay? Excuse me, y'all. Get off my foot. I have things to do, ladies. Throw this over here. Any more rinds, ladies? Clean this place up. I need to get a rake. Yeah, we need to get a rake. By we, I mean me, not you. And clean this place up. Right, Corella? Maybe you'll stop complaining. Oh, come on. Especially you. You're skittish. And you too. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, come on. Well, why are you near me? Making all that cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck. Why y'all on my chair? If you poop on my chair, we gonna have a problem -o. problem -o. Ladies, get off my chair. Let's see if there's any doo-doo in there already. Now, y'all respectful so far. Oh, my chair. 
Hmm. What you want? Ebony. I mean, ivory. You <laughs> know my colors. <laughs> that's ebony. <laughs> and that's a mama. And she seems to be the mama of most of them. I think I got one or two upstairs that's not hers, but all of them. Almost all of them are hers. Hers and whites. Let me show you what the wasp do. Now this one is struggling because I turned the water on, but it is so hot. They land in the water and cool themselves down. And it happens all the time and then they just take off. I've never seen this anywhere in my life where a wasp, well this one is obviously struggling, but they go in the water and then they fly off. They'll probably get out trying to fill up a bucket he's in my way <laughs> the chickens need fresh water and I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar in there put a little bit of vinegar in there they are back these jokers are coming for a swim my goodness wasps put a little bit of vinegar in there to help these birds out Off. Gotta go back out to the cabin and get the other water reservoir.
nice boy. I think I'm done out here. My work is done. <laughs> See you later, ladies. See you in a few hours when it's time for you to go to bed. There we are. I know you can't see the difference, but I can. It was very, very messy out here. Um, it had stuffing, dog poop, things that needed to go. So I'll throw this in the trash and I'll see you. I've been using this carton for the longest. <laughs> this. This is what I've been using to hatch the eggs. It's not doing very well though. Um, you can put 12 eggs in here, but I would not recommend you putting 10, 12 eggs in here. Put maybe six because the chicks, I think one of them actually, you know, bit the dust because the ones that hatched first rolled it over and it, you know, it drowned in um, some of the yolk from the other shell. But this is it. This is the setup. You do it like this. You put that there. You fill this with water and put it like that. And you take this and put it on top. All right, plug it in. It'll be 99 to 100 degrees. The hatch rate is not great though. So I'm not sure if you want to buy this thing. It does. It does work. Oh, and this, you have to put this underneath it. So that the water will be high enough and it'll run into there but the hatch rate this time last time i got three and i don't i didn't put 12 last time i forget how many i put but this time i put 12 and i got five to hatch all of them were fully developed but and they pipped but they did not come out i don't know maybe i did something wrong at the end but they didn't they didn't um they didn't uh, they never came out maybe if I do it again I'll do a dry hatch which means I don't put any water and I just let them incubate dry so anyway this is my chicken update I have four upstairs that are babies three in the cage that's seven then I have two other babies that's nine then I have the three from tractor supply that's 12 and then I have Cruella and Dum Dum that's 15 that's a lot. I didn't know I had that many. It's Jamerica 5288. If you want chickens, just go ahead and get a rooster. And this incubator, I think it costs me less than 50 bucks. I think, no, it might have been 79. I don't necessarily recommend it because um, I haven't had a huge success, but I'm still, I'm a beginner. This is the third time I'm hatching eggs. And the first time I only had like five eggs in there. And I got those first two babies the ebony and ivory second time i put about six or seven and i got three so i got about 50 percent and this time i got four and i had 12 eggs in there one was not viable so i threw that in the trash it wasn't fertilized so i had 11 and i got five to to hatch one died and um the rest of them pipped but they just they didn't come out they they didn't come out something went wrong at the very end so I may try again, but I have a lot of chickens right now. I might need to, you know, sell some or do something with them because, you know, this hobby is becoming an, uh, what is it called? Hoarding, hoarding chickens, <laughs> chicken lady. All right. This is Jamerica 5288. I thank you for being with me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.